Hey everybody, welcome to Garden Sound 365. My name is Garden Sound and this is the show where we write music every day for a year. We'll be trying out this new camera angle for a bit. It's a little bit above where it normally is and it kind of sits behind my monitor which is kind of freaking me out. Today what we're going to do is look at sample packs and we're going to talk about why they're good and why they're bad. You can download what are called sample packs. Now Ableton at its core is software that's designed to make music and then you can export its components or you can export just the entire song to audio. Sample packs, when it started out as a thing, started out as a toolkit, more or less. Sample packs started with synthesizers from the Roland XV or JV line in the 90s, maybe the early 80s, in the form of what are called expansion boards. The expansion boards started this trend of taking what you have and expanding. So there was the dance expansion, there was the hip-hop expansion. MPCs were, were pretty famous for doing this as well. There was an expansion system in the MPC series of synthesizers. What the expansion boards did was it took your existing hardware and gave you more. Think of it like DLC for a video game. What it's turned into are these what I call LEGO sample packs. I think one of the biggest culprits of this is cymatics. This, this mentality of, oh, we've got all of these different assembly kind of sample packs, meaning sample packs that have a bass drum loop, a bass loop, a synthesizer loop, a lead loop, and all you got, literally, all you have to do is add those into a song in some semblance of order, and you've got a song. And they're already pre-compressed, they're already mixed, they're already etc, etc, etc. All of the hard work is done. And you all know how I feel about things that make creating a cookie cutter song easier. I feel like I need to say this. I'm not dissing samples. I'm not dissing sampling. I'm not dissing people who use samples. I'm dissing people who put sample packs together in a cookie cutter fashion similar to Legos and then call it their own artistic work. These sample packs are great for people who are learning composition or learning how to build songs. Take the sample packs, put them together, see how a song works. It's no different than following the instructions in Legos. The problem is that people are doing this and then saying, this is my song. Samples and loops section, and I'm going to be downloading individually each of these libraries from Cymatics. F*** you, Cymatics. I'm going to open live, and let's see just how long it takes me to assemble one of these cookie cutter um, things. I'm going to put my hood on here because I'm I'm officially going into hacker mode, and I'm going to I'm going to hack me a song. Um, Cymatics trap drum loops. Here we go. Number one, we're just gonna put number one in here. We're gonna call this build up drums. Here we go, making the song out of samples somebody else did, calling it our own. That's gonna be drop, drop percussion. Using that, we're just gonna use the first ones. Because All right, there's a cymatics kick. We've got our kick drum in here. Done. Here we go. That's going to be my build up. Alright, so here's what we're going to do. Um, my idea that I wanted to do is actually too complex for what I'm trying to do. And seriously, not even kidding. So what we're going to do here is we're going to f***ing duplicate this. So now we've got our drop. It's done, guys. It took me less than 15 minutes. This track and this track to Audio 9. 
I'm going to use audio 9 as resampling. I'm going to Skrillex bass this, which means that I'm not going to do any sort of automation on the bass. I'm just going to give it a high knee and a compressor and actually let the computer take care of it because LAZY! All right, now that I've got this in here, what I'm gonna do, add a little bit of EQ to it and a little bit of, uh, not dynamic tube, a little bit of saturation. Now I'm gonna duplicate this, um, and then I'm gonna take this right here, uh, and I'm gonna duplicate it here, add my little arps in, and uh, that's the entire song comp composed out. Now I'm gonna do is do some very basic mixing, and we're done. Ah, it sounds like poop. I'm just gonna duplicate it twice. I'll get over with it. Perfect, now what we're gonna do is save this project, and we're gonna call it mine, because these are royalty-free samples, so technically I can do that. 365, uh, well, 157, Perfect, we're gonna delete all the ones in the temporary cache, and then we're gonna go ahead and export this bitch to the same folder. Here we go. Hope y'all are enjoying this tutorial of how I wrote my song. Song that I wrote, my song. Song, that song I just wrote, that, my song, the one I wrote, my song. All right, so now we're gonna take my mastering template that I've already saved, take off my EQ because dynamics, and what we're gonna do is add a little bit of warm up the highs, a little bit of stereo widening, and we're gonna compress this thing until it's at about uh, plus 1.5 on the meter, and then we're gonna add a limiter to it because f dynamics. Okay, now that that's been done, we're not even gonna check it. Uh, I'm not even gonna look at spectrum. We're just done today. We're gonna go ahead and put this under 157 master, um, and that's today's track. So if you want to hear that 100% bullshit that I just wrote, click here. If you want to see yesterday's video, click here. If you want to subscribe, click here. If you want to support me on Patreon, click here. But don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. Oh my god, please give me all the likes. I hate this. Why did I even build a studio? Why did I even learn the keyboard? Why did I even do any of this bullshit? Arrgh.